Kazakhstan is exporting now 1.5 million barrels a day. This is a real figure. And within our program by 2020, in next decade, we are going to double the size of our export to 3 million barrels a day. And the major uh, impact for that is the development of Akashagan project, which is a huge project and $160 billion investment. And this plan is realistic. Uh you're trying to tap into a much wider market, customs union with Russia and Belarus. Does this take a market of 15 million consumers and the size of Western Europe uh, to play in a much larger field in the next three to four years? Uh, first of all, our target is to join WTO within short period of time. And our ambitious plan is to be a part of OECD, to be, a, uh, to be within the club of OECD countries. And uh, custom union, is a good opportunity for us, for our export markets, because we are a small landlocked country and it's difficult for us to develop without potential markets. How do you balance the demands of China wanting the pipelines, Russia wanting some of the energy, and Western Europe? Geopolitically, how are you balancing that? Kazakhstan is situated in the Central Asia with Russia on the north, China on the east, uh, Middle East countries around us, Western Europe. And uh, with the three million barrels a day, we can have export everywhere and even this market is not big enough for us. We have uh, plans for even further expansion. You had 1% growth just over that in 2009 and then phenomenal growth of 8% coming out of the, the global economic crisis and after the bank restructuring. What is realistic would you say going forward? Uh, according to our uh, estimate plan, the growth for the next 3-5 uh, years will be about 5%, but this is very uh, conservative it approach, conservative. and I think it will be a much uh, much bigger growth. But what is important is not growth itself, but continuation of a structural institutional reforms to make this growth sustainable. Final question, Asian Winter Games launching this weekend, Russia got the World Cup, Qatar for 2022. A, a symbol, I think, here at Davos of all this discussion about emerging markets, but capturing the Asian Winter Games is quite a landmark for you, I would imagine. Uh, this is uh, right, and especially after this uh, economic crisis, the role of emerging uh, markets is increasing. You see Winter Games in Russia, Soka Carp in Russia, Qatar. Uh, Kazakhstan is a smaller country, and our first goal is successfully launch Asian Winter Games this weekend. And this will be successful, and then we have even more ambitious plans.